Hello everybody and welcome to this short video dealing with the question what to do if you can't work in your university office due to the coronavirus. We are Barbara and Gunther from Tress Academic and we heard from so many places around the world which are affected by the pandemic of the coronavirus. We are aware that many of you guys out there are facing difficult situations and partly being locked out from your offices where you usually do your work. First of all, we are so sorry to hear about all these reports and really feel for those who are affected. Working in home office is for many of you everything but business as usual. And for some, it might be a completely new experience. Some probably think they can't do it. Some start doing all sorts of other things, but work. Now, guys, before you start to clean your apartment or binge watch your favorite series, we have some help for you. Corona time is difficult for all of us, but we want you to make the best out of it. We have created a list of great suggestions what you could do to keep up your productivity as researchers. Some of the best ones we want to share with you in this video. If you want to get more information on all of these suggestions, go on our Smart Academics blog. There we describe in detail how you can implement each of these suggestions. Okay, let's start with our suggestion number one. You need to organize your day in your home office. What does this mean? Well, you have a lot of freedom now to arrange the day, so make the best out of it. We suggest you sketch out the three most important tasks you want to do during the day and define how much time they will need. Ask yourself what you could do today in your limited space in your home office that would have the biggest impact for your academic work. Plan also some time for admin stuff, which you do after your top three activities are done. Define your working hours when you start and end and lock in some breaks. And don't forget to schedule something enjoyable at the end of the day. Sticking to this plan will make sure you won't get lost in reading news, tricky, and social media in your home office. And here comes tip number two. Get started with writing a paper. How often do we hear from academics that they cannot find the time and the quietness to write a paper? Hey folks, that is different now during Corona time. Wouldn't it be a great moment to start sketching the ideas of a paper on the research you have already done? It could be a research paper, a methods paper, or even a review paper if you don't have sufficient own findings available. Use the time now to produce a written outcome. Number three, brush up your CV. That's a great time now. If you always wanted to update your CV, now's the time. Inform yourself about the requirements of a great academic CV. It has to be organized in a very special way and it's totally different from a resume or an industrial CV. Well, think about how you could structure it and what you could do so you have an updated version once you're ready. We've all described that in our blog post number 45. Tip number four, set up a publishing strategy. Do you know how many papers you're going to write over the next 12 months? Do you know to which journals you will submit them? Do you know how long it takes you to write a single paper? Do you know how important these papers are for your career? If you need answers on these questions, you benefit from a publishing strategy. That's a document where you define these goals for you and that helps you to get these things done. So please sit down now and set up such a strategy. On our website, on the blog, there are guidelines out there for you how to do it. Tip number five, have a video meeting with your supervisor. I bet there are a lot of issues in your PhD right now that you would like to discuss with your supervisor. So don't think you can't meet and can't discuss and you have to solve everything on your own. Don't be shy. Simply ask for a video meeting. Giving guidance is a key responsibility of supervisors. So you have every right to ask and exchange with them. Get going. Tip number six, prepare a conference poster. I know 
it is not the best time to go on conferences now, but conference will be back and a poster is a good way to start them. You can do the poster basically on your laptop yourself. Just think about what you want to put there in content, or how you're going to design it and look on the, on the blog post number 45, there are guidelines out for you. Number seven, prepare an application letter. Are you about to hunt for a new academic job in the next eight, 10 months? Perfect time now to get a first draft of your application letter. We created an expert guide that tells you in detail how to avoid the most common mistakes. You'll find it if you follow the links in the blog post number 45. And last tip, join online courses. Probably you've never done a digital course, but you always wanted to. It will give you the possibility to further educate yourself on a topic where you always wanted to know more. You can work from home at your own pace whenever you like and you can exchange even with many other fellow learners. You will be surprised to see what a great learning experience this can be. By the way, we are starting soon offering a short free digital PhD masterclass and it will tell you how to complete your PhD successfully. If you want to hear more about it, you can sign up to our waiting list already now. You'll find the link at the blog post number 45. You see, the coronavirus outbreak can turn into something good, yeah? It can make your home office time a productive one. Get the full list of tips, worksheets, checklists, guidelines, how to realize it all on our Smart Academics blog. As Bervil said, look for a post number 45 There you'll find all the necessary information free to download. We wish you all the best in these difficult times. Stay tuned, stay healthy.